We will talk about chlamydia and gonorrhea. Both of them are bacterial infection. Both of them are sexually transmitted infections. And both of them are very common infections. They have many similarities, but they are different. First and most important difference is chlamydia is caused by different bacteria. It is called chlamydia trachomatis. It is the most common sexually transmitted disease and it affects around 3% of young women and it affects around 1.5% of men. So it's twice less common among men. And gonorrhea affects around 0.8% of females and usually both of these infections are asymptomatic. So they show no symptoms around in 60 to 70 percent of cases. So they have no symptoms usually. That's why they are um, they are very important to diagnose and screen because they have complications and complication can be these adhesions. You can see these adhesions and it can cause pelvic inflammatory disease and infer infertility in women. That's why screening is important of these sexually transmitted infections. When, if symptoms occur, the symptoms are burning sensation during urination in both cases, in the case of men and female, painful intercourse, uh, vaginal or penile discharge, um, and bleeding between periods. So if women have bleeding between period it can be infection of course it can be other uh, causes also more serious conditions but it can be infections also and the discharge can be different uh, for example in case of chlamydia discharge is more clear and looks like normal vaginal discharge in many cases and difficult to diagnose in many cases because uh, maybe women mistakenly uh, mis perceive it as a normal discharge and in case of gonorrhea discharge is more purulent, more cloudy, more whitish, more greenish that's why it's more characteristic if gonorrhea, uh, gonorrhea has more characteristic uh, discharge now let's say about incubation period. Incubation period is from time from infection to first symptoms, if symptoms occur at all, of course. For chlamydia, incubation period is three weeks. So if person will be infected with chlamydia after three weeks, he or she will have symptoms. And for gonorrhea is a much less time, it's around six days so for gonorrhea incubation period is six days but uh, sometimes it can be 30 days also it depends individual cases but usually it's within six days co-infection is also common co-infection occurs around 15 percent of cases co-infection means that when these both infections exist together so when person has chlamydia and gonorrhea together it's 15 percent of cases so it's also common and diagnosis and screening also is nucleic acid amplification test it's standard it's gold standard in case of males it's from urine test for women it's endocervical or vaginal swabs and treatment treatment is effective and azithromycin single dose is effective in case of chlamydia or doxycycline twice a day for seven days is effective also for chlamydia and for gonorrhea ceftriaxone single dose is usually uh, effective intramuscular and if there is suspect that person has both of these infections chlamydia and gonorrhea then ceftriaxone plus azithromycin so that's a st standard treatment of course there can be there can be a resistance but resistance uh, usually 
uh, not very common and this ceftriaxone treatment usually is enough that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now